Hello YouTube friends. Recently I talked about seahorse gut health and one of the things that we can do as hobbyists is make sure that we are not defrosting frozen mice's shrimp too long before we actually feed it to the seahorses nor do we want it to sit too long. The seahorse has a very simple digestive system and a really, really tiny stomach. So any bacteria that builds up either on the supplies that we use or the mysis shrimp itself is an opportunity to build up bacteria that can enter the seahorse digestive system. Gut health is important not only for seahorses, but human beings as well. And to keep the gut healthy and the immune system healthy, we really want to limit the amount of nasty bacteria that goes into their digestive system. Now, in addition to those strategies that I mentioned about keeping down the bacteria on mysis shrimp and the supplies you use for feeding the seahorses, another thing that you can do to help maintain good gut health and a strengthened immune system is to occasionally feed seahorses live foods. Even though we have acclimated seahorses to accept frozen food, by nature and evolution, they are not truly adapted to digest that kind of food. So it really is good to have food that has the nutrients and enzymes that they need to maintain good gut health. Some options are copepods of the larger size if your seahorses are somewhat smaller still. Also amphipods as well ghost shrimp and if you're able to find them aquatic marine isopods. So it's just a small thing that you can do occasionally for your seahorses along with good husbandry practices about providing clean bacteria limited feedings of frozen mice shrimp also occasionally feed some live saltwater foods that will help keep your seahorses healthy, their digestive system moving along, and build up good gut health and immunity. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Take care.